Hello traders, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing great. Okay, today I'm, I'm just going to be sharing some deep market analysis and how to see things that are happening behind the scene in the market because trading is not is, is not enough to be looking at the candles uh, taking some trade and analyzing the market doesn't end in the little support and resistance chart patterns or the things you know there are some few things that happen behind the market or it's happening currently here but it takes another level of understanding for you to see them so these are the kind of things i share with my mentorship students but i just decided to make some things public today so i was trading card chf i think i've posted some of the trades online um i just want i felt like sharing this tip for for you guys so if you're looking at this market now on card chf this is the five minutes chart the market has been on a lower high lower low trend and it has been giving me lower highs and lower lows but there's something that happened here we had a little reversal up and the market was kind of like moving higher highs and higher lows but when i was observing this market you could clearly see that this is a double top pattern and then the usual double door pattern is that the market is going to move in this way come down retrace here and sell so is what i call the market maker profile i've been teaching that to, to my mentorship student so these are the kind of things i want to be sharing with you so this is what we call the market maker profile how do you determine your entries because if i was to take a power four trade you see me when this when this green candle is going higher you see me strike a trade for power four and the market will awesomely go into profit in the next uh, four minutes and you wonder how does this guy see all those things so you can see one i've shared with you it's called the market maker profile template the pattern is meant to form like this once you see this kind of pattern you wait for a retracement back to this low and then you wait for a retracement back to this low and then you take a sell here and the market is going to sell to the next level okay so when this market started trading down uh, i had a level here i had a level i was watching here i knew buyers are going to call me so i was thinking the market could go into higher highs and higher lows because of these two green candles if you observe during the downtrend the market has been giving one candle sellers continue one candle sellers continue one candle sellers continue but here you can see two strong candles so i was thinking the market now wants to go into an uptrend for we to be getting higher highs and higher lows so i knew buyers are going to come in here but i didn't take it so that was the little movement up here and i had a little bias entry but then the market continued with sellers so if you want to know some secret i tell my students on how to know who is in charge of the market you observe the candles that make the the part of the market that make long candles so if you look at this market you see that sellers are more in charge because you're seeing weak green candle and you're seeing big big candles from sellers here you're seeing weak candles from buyers and you're seeing two long candles have overshadowed all these buyers entry so that tells you that sellers are more in charge in the market so you tend to look out for opportunities to take sell trades so since the market is still in the mood of lower highs and lower lows so the market made a green candle here and then after this green candle you can see seller uh, buyers go weaker and they still got weaker so i took a power four trade here once the market touched this level i took a power four trade because the market is seeing the profile of lower highs and lower lows so from there i took a sell and you can see the market supported my trade because i had two strong candles going in my direction 
and that shows that I'm in the right direction. So here, after the retracement, after bias, they got weaker. So here, bias came weak and they got stronger. So that was why I was able to go with a higher option here in the previous video. And if you observe, the market was in consolidation. So the trade couldn't pan out successfully. So since the market was in consolidation, uh, the, the candle, the last candle closed here and that was a, an OTM. So, but if the market was actually in a very good condition, I expected buyers to make one more candle there. And the market even moved fast during that section. So the, the tip I've been trying to explain so far is that there's what we call the market maker profile pattern, especially this double top patterns and double bottom. So the market is meant to break out of the neckline, come back to it, and then buy. The same thing implies here, the market is meant to come back to it and then sell. That is how I get my entries when using this pattern. And then you observe the retracement when you're in a trend. If the retracements are too strong, the market might be forming another trend or the market might be reversing. So you want to see the major candles form in the direction of the trend you're observing. So if you see the market moving in that direction of the trend, you have more candles, more bigger candles there, then that means the market is still in that trend and something like this, the market is still selling. After the retracement, the market is still selling. Yeah, after the retracement, then we started getting some sellers and then the market kept on selling. But now we can see what we call breaking market structure. I've thought that before, you can check that in the previous videos. Now the market is still in the lower highs and lower lows but here buyers got stronger sellers couldn't continue down we had consolidation and now the market is reversing and now the market is reversing and you can see it on the five minutes chart uh, the market has been on the lower highs and lower lows yeah i thought it could go higher high it failed sellers continued after one candle continuation after one candle we have not gotten any continuation we had another green candle from bias so probably the market might be reversing now so i've been able to share some tips and deep insights with you these are deep things you you don't really get generally on youtube i do this only in my mentorship program but there are still more you need to see there are still more you need to learn but this one i just feel like sharing it public hope you find it insightful do have to drop a comment tell me what you learned tell me how you if you had a eureka moment during the video and uh, make sure you drop a comment like and share the video if it's your first time make sure you hit subscribe i wish you all good luck with trading have a wonderful day peace